Chelsea. Man City told £60 million will be enough to snare talented Italy star on Pochettino's. Chelsea. Man City linked Inter Milan defender Alessandro Bastoni. Chelsea and Manchester City are both considering a January move for Inter Milan defender Alessandro Bastoni, according to reports. The talented 24-year-old has been one of the Italian side's most important players since breaking into the first team in 2019 and still has room for improvement. Bastoni has made 173 appearances for Inter to date, scoring three goals and making 14 assists. In the process, he has helped his side to win three major trophies, including one league title. The centre-back has also chalked up 21 caps for the Italy national team, so there is certainly no doubting his quality. It's no surprise to see Premier League clubs interested in a move for Bastoni, as he is considered to be one of the best young defenders in Europe. Inter won't let Bastoni leave on the cheap however, so Chelsea and Man City will have to put their money where their mouth is to have any chance of a deal in the winter window. Chelsea. Man City keen on Bastoni. According to Italian outlet Calcio Mercato, both Chelsea and Man City have been keeping tabs on Bastoni ahead of a potential January move. It's claimed that a bid in the region of £60 million will be required to convince Inter into a sale. This is even though Bastoni signed a new five-year contract with the club in July, keeping him at the San Siro until 2028. The report adds that Inter will target a move for Torino's Perchure to replace Bastoni if he leave in January, which suggests they are preparing for his departure. Mauricio Pochettino is thought to be keen on adding a quality defender to his Chelsea squad. Blues defender Trevor Chaloba is expected to leave Stamford Bridge this winter so Bastoni could be brought in to replace him. The Italian could also be a long-term replacement for Thiago Silva, who is past his peak at the age of 39. As for Man City, they have only just signed a top young defender in Josco Gvardiol for £77.6 million at the start of this season. Despite this, it seems that Pep Guardiola is already looking to bring in more competition for the centre-back position. With that in mind, it will be interesting to see if one of the Premier League do do make a concrete bid for Bastoni in January, as the report suggests. Harry Kane's lack of involvement is an exaggerated problem at Bayern Munich. Harry Kane has hit the ground running at Bayern Munich, scoring 10 and assisting 5 in 10 competitive games. Despite Kane's strong start to life in Bavaria, fans have been left unsatisfied with the England captain's lack of involvement. This has left many a fan baffled as to why the club spent 95 million euros on a player who is barely involved. While this may be slightly worrying, there is no need to fret. Where Kane is supposedly falling behind in involvement, he is excelling in goal scoring, currently producing a 0.95 expected goals per 90 minutes in the Bundesliga. At Bayern, Kane is also surrounded by capable creators in Joshua Kimmich, Jamal Musiala, and Thomas Müller, who were all in the 90th percentile per their respective positions for shot-creating actions in the Bundesliga last season, thus easing his creative responsibilities. Lastly, while Kane's shot-creating action numbers are down compared to seasons past, he is currently providing 0.52 assists per 90, proving he is still a capable creator when it matters. Kane was brought in to score goals, and that is exactly what he is doing. Since the departure of Robert Lewandowski, Bayern has needed a world-class striker capable of scoring goals. The solution, Harry Kane. As far as solutions go, this one has proved highly effective. The former Spurs man has tallied 10 goals in as many appearances for Die Roten, while averaging 30 touches per 90 minutes across all competitions. Thus lies the problem, or does it? Touches indicate how involved a player is in any given game. The higher the amount of touches, the more involved the player is. So does this mean the more involved a striker is, the more impactful they are? Absolutely not. If touches do not portray how effective a striker is, then what does? Goals. Let's take a look at Harry Kane's most prolific goal-scoring season, the 17-18th season. The Englishman managed a total of 41 goals across all competitions. An impressive tally, no surprises there. What may surprise some people, though, is his involvement across that season. Kane averaged only 31 touches per 90, only one more than he is currently averaging for Bayern. 
Another good example of a striker's impact compared to involvement is, arguably the world's best striker, Erling Haaland. The former Dortmund man capped a phenomenal debut Premier League season, scoring 36 goals. But how involved was Haaland? In a 36-goal season, the most ever recorded in a single Premier League season, the Norwegian was only averaging 25 touches per 90. In a Manchester City team that averaged 65.2% possession and 787 touches per 90, 25 touches every 90 minutes was enough to make Haaland City's player of the season. In the Bundesliga, Kane is operating at a 0.95 expected goals per 90. This is 0.3 more than he averaged in the 17-18th Premier League season, his best ever goal-scoring season. In reality, Kane has 9 goals in 8 matches, a rate of 1.18 goals per 90, a very good ratio. At this point, it is important to consider that penalties may skew this data slightly. Kane's non-penalty expected goals in the 17-18th Premier League season was 0.65. In the Bundesliga, he has 0.63. This means Kane has penalties to thank for his high. But taking penalties out the picture, he is still just about matching the of his best ever goal-scoring season in the Premier League. So what does this all mean? In summary, touches are good marker for involvement, but it doesn't dictate how impactful a player, in particular, a striker, is for their team. The metric we need to look at for strikers is goals, and this is something Harry Kane is excelling at so far at Bayern Munich. Relax Harry, we'll take the creative responsibilities from here. There is currently no one metric that can measure a player's overall creativity. A good place to start though is shot creating actions. This metric measures the two offensive actions that take place in the direct lead up to a shot. Let's take a look at Spurs main creative contingent in the Premier League last season. Harry Kane produced 3.46 SDA per 90 minutes, Ivan Perisic 3.2, and Pedro Porro 3.26. This ranks them all in the 90th percentile for their respective positions. Decent however, not as good as Bayern's top creators. In the 22-23rds Bundesliga season, Bayern had five players in the 90th percentile for SDA per 90 minutes in their respective positions. This includes Jamal Musiala, 4.91, Joshua Kimmich, 4.55, Kingsley Komen, 5.43, Thomas Muller, 4.65, and Alfonso Davies, 3.88. Not only that, excluding Alfonso Davies, these players all registered at least one more shot creating action than Harry Kane last season, Spurs' most active creator. Does this mean that Harry Kane has suddenly become a poor creator? No. Spurs were bad last season? Well, yes, but not quite the point. The fact is that Bayern has more creators and of a higher quality than Harry Kane's Spurs. This naturally means that Kane will not be required to be the creative outlet like he was at Spurs, but rather the end product for Bayern's creators, which again is exactly what is playing out on the pitch. Harry Kane is still creating when it matters most. Since joining Bayern, Harry Kane has seen his SKA take a knock. At Spurs last season, he was averaging 3.47 SKA per 90, which was mostly maintained or bettered throughout his time in London. At Bayern, Kane's SKA per 90 is down to 2.5. This may concern some, but it can mostly be explained by the previous segment. It could also be interpreted that Kane has lost his creative touch but this is not the case at all. Kane is scoring goals, this is no secret, but what is perhaps being overlooked is the fact that he has already racked up 5 assists in 10 games. In the Bundesliga alone, Kane has registered 4 assists. That's one more than Kane managed over the course of the entire 22-23 Premier League season. Admittedly, this does have to do with the fact that Bayern as a team is a much better creative outlet with stronger finishers than Spurs last season. However, recording 0.52 assists per 90, above even his most prolific assisting seasons in a Spurs jersey, proves that Kane is still capable of creating when it matters most. Taking everything into account, there is no reason for Bayern fans to worry about Harry Kane's lack of involvement.
The Englishman is scoring goals despite fewer touches, while being supported by a plethora of creative talent, and even though he is not creating fewer shots, he is still bagging assists at an impressive rate.